All right, here we're looking at Scabiosa Vivid Violet. Take a look at this crap. All these things look awesome right now. You got that nice light purple flower standing tall above that really nice foliage below. And uh, these things look awesome. They're all in bud, all in bloom, and uh, all look fantastic. Now is a great time to get them. Okay, here we're looking at Agapanthus Blue Yonder. Check these things out. We got a lot of these available still. Not quite sure why because they look awesome. They have been looking awesome. And it's a, just a great hardy plant. Agapanthus, this thing is hardy here, um, as I just said. And these are all blooming. They all have lots of buds to follow in. They're all sitting above that really nice clean foliage. Really need to talk to your sales rep about these and uh, bring some of them in. Agapanthus, Blue Yonder. Okay, here's a shot of uh, just a group of lavender. Right now we have available, I believe it's Phenomenal, Province, and Grosso. So check these things out, talk to your rep, get these on order, and get them out to your shops. Uh, the lavender is looking really great right now. The foliage is nice and clean. They're can full, and they're all probably around four to six inches. So it's a great start, and it's a great time to bring them in. Okay, check out this crop of Lavender Grosso. These things are awesome. Um, it's just nice enough to have lavender available, let alone a crop that looks like this. Nice, real consistent, all of them standing a good six inches tall. Um, can full, clean foliage, get them on order. Okay, here we're looking at the Red Baron or Japanese blood grass. Um, lots of these still available, still looking awesome, as they have in every single video that I've sent you guys uh, with this on it. Uh, red tips, green bottoms, nice size these things look great bring them on in take a look at that crop nice and consistent all right folks take a look at this uh crop of Perovskia rocket man these things are awesome right now they are just about in full bloom but there's still some buds on there showing off that really cool color over that uh, silvery green foliage great plant all right everybody take a look at this dianthus um i feel like it's been a while since i did something different than the paint the town but Here's our Spangled Star. You can see these things are, are more than can full. Nice little mound of uh, green foliage there. You can see some flowers there too, but don't get super excited about it. Um, there's only a handful that have those flowers on them right now. Buy this thing for the foliage. Thing looks great. It's a nice little mound. It's a great little plant. Perfect ground cover. Okay, here's one of my favorites, folks. It's a uh, Plumbago. It's a fantastic ground cover, and uh, there's really no flowers. There's a random flower here or there, but there's really no buds or flowers just yet on this thing. It's still a little bit early, um, but this is one of my favorites. I love showing this thing because I keep showing it every week and one of these days it's gonna start budding and then you're gonna get those flowers, which is a really awesome blue that is hard to find in another plant. This is a very cool ground cover. Uh, Plumbago people, order it now and let that thing show off its color on your lot. Okay, folks, check out this Sedum Lime Twister. This fun little guy is a nice little ground cover. Uh, has some yellow green foliage to go along in each and every single pot. Um, there's a few buds as you can see right there. But again, nothing to get too excited about because for the most part, 90% of these aren't quite there yet. But this is more of a foliage plant anyways. Buy this little ground cover for the color. It's a whole lot of fun. All right, everybody. Uh, here, what you're looking at is better than a two cushion combo. You're looking at the Tiarella slash Hucara Hucarella Sweet Tea. Um, check out these things. You know, they're pretty much done blooming, but uh, take a look at that foliage, man. These things are more than can full, showing off a really nice, nice uh, fall leaf color foliage. Uh, Hucarella Sweet Tea. Okay, here we have Geranium Roseanne. Uh, take a look at these guys. They're getting big. They're getting full, showing off a whole lot of flowers as they have been for quite a few weeks now and still have that nice foliage below. It's a great ground cover, old classic. Geranium Roseanne, can't go wrong with this one. Okay, right in front of me you got Veronia Iron Butterfly. This is a two gallon container. Um, this is a great plant. I mean, it has kind of like that uh, that thread leaf foliage that you'd see on some Coreopsis. Uh, it's just a nice looking plant. These are all about 15, 18 inches tall. Not really budding yet, um, but you know, it's just not time for that right now. But it is still a great looking plant. You can see them kind of blown in the wind a little bit. It's just a nice lighter foliage plant. Okay, take a look at that right there. You see that? That's an alien medusa bud. Um, just starting to crack some color. These things are all budded up really, really nicely as you can see. And it's a nice consistent crop. I love this plant. 
It's super cool when it's not in bloom. It's super cool when it is in bloom. Um, and it's super cool when it's just in the buds. Uh, it's just a great looking plant all around. Uh, Allium medusa brings some in today. Okay, here we're looking at Hasta Summit Substance. And I'll tell you what, if uh, these things aren't substance, I don't know what the word substance means. These things are super full, more than can full. Um, showing off that awesome yellow foliage. They're all in full bloom right now. You can see all the flowers up top standing a good 18, 24 inches above the foliage, which the foliage in itself is probably standing a good 15 or 18 inches. So it's a great looking plant and it's a great time to bring in this hosta. Okay, take a look at this crop of hosta patriot. Uh, you can't go wrong with this old reliable, it's a nice variegated um, hosta with the, the wider margin of white edging on it. These things are all blooming right now, um, just about at full bloom and uh, still have time to show some color, but you know, even without the flower, it's a great looking foliage plant. Hey everybody, take a look at the sedum lime zinger. Uh, this is a really nice, consistent looking crop here. Uh, a lot of them are showing uh, buds. Almost every single plant here is budded. I'm not going to say 100% of them, but I'll give it an 80% are budded. Um, so you're going to get that nice flower on top of the very cool foliage. But as you can see, this is a really nice, consistent crop. Uh, sedum lime zinger, keep this ground cover in mind. Okay, here we have salvia marcus. It's just nice to see some salvia available again. But these guys look great. They're just starting to bloom. so. Um, you're going to get a whole lot of flowers coming up here real soon and there's still a lot of buds so not only are they blooming got buds to follow and salvia really can't go wrong with salvia it's a nice hearty plant salvia marcus all right how's the paul revere um here's another variegated one but i think i keep mentioning this it's i like it a whole lot because it has the the green margins and the white centers to the leaf uh this is a really nice looking hosta right now um it's got that really cool pinkish red stem to go along with the cool foliage, Hasta Paul Revere. They look awesome. Okay, check out this Anemone Little Princess. Uh, these things look awesome right now. Every single one of these has a lot of buds on it. Every single one of these is standing probably 18, 24 inches tall. And uh, you can see a handful of flowers spread out in there. Uh, it has that nice pink flower, but uh, <clears throat> won't be long before you get a whole lot more color out of these. Um, Anemone Little Princess, bring these guys in. Okay, folks, here's one of my favorites, Cracosmia uh, Orange Pico. This has such an awesome orange red color to it. You can see every one of these are in bud and bloom, showing a whole lot of that really nice foliage and uh, that super cool color. Orange Pico, order now. Okay, take a look at this seed on Pure Joy, everybody. Uh, this is a proven winner. It's a really nice looking crop that we have here. And, you know, even though it's not a perfect substitute for Autumn Joy or Autumn Fire, um, if you can't find those two, this is the way to go. Might be a little bit on the smaller side, but they're nice and tight and they stay upright there. It's a very sturdy plant. And as you can see, every single one of these fluffy little guys are budding right now. So you're gonna be getting some nice color too in the not too distant future. But Sedum Pure Joy, I feel like it's something that's underused, but it's something that should be, should be brought in and used a whole lot more. Don't forget about it, it's a great plant.